Okay, it's the last week of August. Um, about two weeks ago, I came back and I trimmed all these, all like the leaves, and I put it all down in here. It kind of saved moisture. And as you can tell, everything's regrown. And since I did that, we started getting all sorts of nice fruit. These were already pre-existing, but they really started growing and being healthy. There's more air floating when you start to trim everything without a flower on it. You just toss it down there. But like these guys right here are starting to be really beautiful tomatoes. And this is, they've ripened a great deal since um, I trimmed it all out. And by trimming all this leaf, you also get more airflow. So you start getting less disease. You want to get rid of all your diseased plant also while you're at it. And the real the real idea is to save all your all these will become fruit. And while I'm doing it, I kind of clean up how unruly it is. This one I won't, but over here I'll show you. Um, kind of try to tie these guys up. Again, just trying to get airflow and just trying to get rid of anything that's not going to grow. There's no fruit on there. There's no flower, so no fruit. But I'll save all this. All that's going to be fruit. That little guy's grown. All these little flowers are going to be fruit. So there's a great deal of potential for fruit. Instead of growing leaves, grow fruit. And I'll, t I'll probably tie him up. They don't like, they tend to get a lot of disease if you leave them down in the, close to the ground. This guy's probably only been on the ground for like two weeks. So I'll try to get him up off the ground. He's already kind of getting disease. But like you really see it start happening in this our neighbor's plot over here where he's just trying to just let his tomatoes grow wild and he really gets kind of this you know it just gets to be a real mess and just a potential for a lot of um, disease and it's kind of hard to get your fruit so you're just gonna have rotting fruit back in here we're just this method we've used for probably the third year we've done it. Um, and I'll do this one more time, probably this weekend, tie it up, since our rainy season's already kind of on us. This will probably be the last time. Um, you know, you cut a lot of potential for fruit. This stuff's just gonna start coming out on us. I'm gonna get all this. That's all new since the, I think two, two or three weeks ago I did this process and all this has just reappeared. A lot of these are like serious vines. So like we, it was like weeding back inside of our plot and just like getting it off the ground and getting it so it's growing up. Again, just trying to get airflow. Just trying to let it flow. And while you're doing it, you're getting rid of any of your disease. You know, so that's been the process. It seems to be somewhat successful. Um, be able to go, and it's a, it's kind of a daunting process to start, but it actually could be kind of meditative. You know, you're just gonna come in and doop de do. You know, sometimes I'm just gonna take my hand and, you know, bam, bam. Just looking for things and always kind of trimming back on the, you know, the intersection. Okay, I got a little flower there, so I'm gonna stop right there. And I'm just gonna come back, you know, pick up a little speed if you need to. And while I'm doing it, I'm kind of thinking, well, how can I get some airflow back into here to give this guy some, some a breath of air? You know, maybe I can get rid of this guy here. Well, I'm gonna have to use my snippers. Get inside there and get him going so he gets a little, get a little bit of air. 
Now I'm already seeing, well maybe if I tie this guy up, that's gonna be the idea. You know, I'll take one of my black ties, which I don't have any on me right now. I'll take one of these and make a clip point up here. Oh, well, I'm doing it, I'm noticing, oh, look at this poor little fella. He's been broken. It's unfortunate, he had some um, flour on him, but you know, got lots of flour. So I'm just gonna trim him back. I'm already seeing, well, where's, where's our flower point? Way back in this intersection. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll drop him all the way down there. But then again, I'm thinking I need to tie him up. So I'm probably gonna leave some of this up here just to give a tie point. I'm just trying to get it so it'll tie up. And sometimes I'll just stuff him back in there and see if that works. Something like that. Suddenly I've opened up some air. I can open up a lot of air now. So that's been kind of the game plan for these tomatoes. And also, I mean, the, the great thing is like these little, little guys, they can get so hard to find when they're just in this giant bush. I got one over here I didn't even deal with. This one I kind of let grow wild. Um, I never got to this one. And there's a lot of fruit down there. You know, that's just gonna go to waste and you're starting to see that, that kind of disease thing from it sitting on the ground. So I'll try to definitely get back and clean him up. Like I'm saying, this, this plant here, it's the same fella, or uh, same style these little, as these, these little guys here. And it's so much easier to see it now. Oh, that one's good. Right, I'm gonna eat that. No. So that's our tomato plants. Lots of work. Lots of fun. Fun thing is, once you do it, you spin around two weeks later and you start seeing the fruits of your labor. You know, it's, this is, these are all basic new growth. All right, that's the uh, um, end of August uh, tomato plant cleanup.